to him, I'd have probably shouted him and he'd, he'd, he'd have got me, like, no problem. But as I say, there was a load of people going back to him, so I never bothered. So, uh, anyway. OK, mate, I'll let, you, I'll let you press on if you're getting a bit cold up there. As I say, I, there's no wind at all, is there? A bit grey and murky, but, um, say, you're in a good spot for the radio, mate. You certainly get out there, even though it's a little handy, but, uh, say, you, you're fine with me, Dave. 60 years for a year. Well, York booming through, Steve. Les was absolutely dreadful to me. He was dropping in and out. He really needs to get that aerial sorted out with his QTH. It's absolute pants, mate. You're absolutely full scale. It's like you sat next to me, but to say, Les was just, he was hit and miss. Um, I've been trying to get him to get Clive to go on his roof to do it. He's, he's missing out on so much on the radio. But as I say, you've seen the size of this. Well, this, this area on this VHF one, mate, it must be what? It's about four centimetres uh, in length, Steve. Not even that. It's, uh, it's a little diddly thing, and it's it's on high power, like, but you're uh, you're absolutely booming into me, over. Yeah, as I say, likewise, you're five and seven, rock solid, no problem at all. Audio's blob on, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very good. No problem at all there, mate. Yeah, I say, well, we're both in a good location for two metres, aren't we? You know, we can get across to Ireland, up into Scotland, way down into Wales, across, you know, into Yorkshire, no problem at all. It's just the location. See, I've seen, I know where Les is at, but like you say, his aerial, you know, if he had his aerial up a little bit higher, uh, maybe it'd be it'd be a bit better, and you know, like them that that V2000. I know they're only small antennas, uh, Dave, but I've had them for like 20 years, and they're fabulous pieces of kit. They're only small. I don't really want a big one up there, because not only that, I, I wouldn't have six. You know, it's a tri-band, and I do like me six metres. It's not a brilliant antenna for six metres, but I've worked all over the Northern Hemisphere on six metres with that, you know. Um, and as I say, two and seventy would be great. Something like two for two and seventy would be ideal, like what Lee's got, or, you know, them big X 300s of it. But they're too big, you know, great big 18-foot aerial for two bands for 70 sems and two metres. There's not really any need for it. So, as I say, that V2000, absolutely. You, you can't beat them, mate, for the size of them. They're only about eight and a half foot high. And, uh, as I say, I swear by them. And, you know, they're pretty robust. They're a lot Hi. better than the design, Dave, <laughs> because they only had one nut, one grub screw in the base. And that one that I got, the latest one, I only I got it about 18 months. Two years it's been up. And I've noticed that they've put two grub screws in it because what me and Stuart used to do is Stuart would tap and die it and I'd put two in it you know ourselves but it was for some reason it didn't hold up that well but the way they've designed it now they're pretty much next to each other they're probably about half a centimetre apart and I thought that's a better design anyway as I say I've put it up and in the wind it's absolutely rock solid because that one grub screw just did not do the trick you know even if you yeah. probably have to live into like the Canary Islands or something like that for it to last any length of time but where we're at, you know, the winter and the winds, the bloody winds are howling, of, you know, as you know yourself, and not only that, there's the salt that rots them, but as I say, when I put it up, I made a, you know, I went to town on, the, you know, keeping all the, uh, trying to get the elements out with the, um, that term, self-amalgamating tape and, and silicon grease and so on and so forth, and I've, you know, masked up the centre part of it, so as I say, fingers crossed, it's fine, the only thing that'll destroy it is the wind. And I can't, you know, you can't get away from uh, from from the wind over here. You know, them hurricane force winds. That's it. It'll probably, it'll do. In fact, the last one, he ended up in the yard. It lifted the whole antenna off the mount. Clive come round, jumped over next door, and and, and he said, it's in, here it is. It's in next doors, and it had blown into next doors. And you know, as I say, it had just ripped the coax, the plug, and everything out of the base of the antenna. So you, 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 there's nothing you can do about that. So, but as I said, I, just, I hope we don't get any more winds like that, because otherwise it'll be another antenna. I think that one that I've got up now is the sixth one in the, what, the, the how long have I lived down here? In the 17 years I've been down here. No, it's the fifth. It's the fifth one I've had. So, just shows you've done it, you know. But, uh, you know, say, great location, but uh, mm. just problems with the uh, with the elements, Dave. Anyway, I'll let you go, mate, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you later on if you're whizzing about, mate. M60HB portable, uh, M0IGG, over. 60 HB, Roger, I think I'm going to get attacked by a lamb here. <laughs> I'm surrounded by sheep, Steve. Oh dear, I thought that was going to take a, a gallop at me then. Good grief. Yeah, no worries, mate. Well, as I say, you're working fine up here to me now. And uh, I just sort of come for a little whiz out, mate. I'm going to head back home in a minute. I'm, uh, I'm in work first thing in the morning, unfortunately. Well, I think about seven, half seven. Maybe a bit. I don't know. Sometime in the morning anyway, so I'll probably see you then. But as I say, I just thought I'd uh, I come for one quick last run out. I've just been up mother's, just wash the car, give it a good clean. 
and uh, I thought I'd give these a shout but there's been nobody on the digital side um, I did give SLK a couple of shouts uh, but he's not about so I thought I'd have urged Stuart on a few others but never mind alright uh, Steve I'll let you crack on mate I'm going to uh, going to head back probably go down the hill and uh, head back down the course roadway and uh, give this a bit of a blast speak to you soon mate um, 0YGG I'm 68 3 portable yeah ok Dave yeah take care mate don't go too quick there's that, that course road there's bloody wet leaves all over the spot mate lethal on two wheels mate you'll be like, like it in ice <laughs> alright mate speak to you soon M60 HV stroke PM0 IGGC mate yep 7 days catch you in a bit bloody sheep <laughs>